Hello and welcome to Neighborhood Real Estate Update, where we bring you hyper-local, timely, and accurate information about real estate in zip codes all over San Diego County. Today is July 31st, 2023. Can you believe it? Already the end of July. And today we are talking about Scripps Ranch 92131. Please remember, if you like this content, to subscribe, share, and comment. If you have a special request zip code or area or street or whatever you'd like to see, just let us know. We'll go through the information. We'll go through the MLS. We'll go through the InfoSparks graphics, whatever you want. So let's jump right into Scripps Ranch today. Let's see here. We are going to move this up and get me out of the way. So looking at the total number of homes for sale in San Diego County, uh, we are up at 2677. This is about the highest number we've seen since about a year ago. Um, although a year ago, it was nearly double this number of homes for sale. So uh, we have been really plateaued right around the high 2500s. Uh, low 2600s and uh, here we are on a Monday at 2677. I do expect to see this number going down and um, hopefully down by a couple based on some offers I've written for buyers over the weekend. But we do expect to see a number of these homes go pending over the next couple of days and we'll see how many new, list new listings come in to uh, replace them. But enough about that. Let's get into Scripps Ranch. Looking at 92131, and we're going to check out the currently active, currently pending, and sold in the last 30 days. It was about 30 days ago that we looked at Scripps Ranch. So let's take a look at the comparative market analysis summary, as we always do here on Real Est Neighborhood Real Estate Update got to remember the name of what I'm talking about. It's a Monday. Cut me some slack. So looking at this, we have 25 active units in Scripps Ranch and the average market time on those is 33 days. We do have a couple of higher market times here that are pulling on that average. 109 days there, 122 days there couple of them um, in the 50s, another one here at 118. But all in all, 33 days is pretty uh, pretty quick, or pretty, pretty short market time anyway. So 25 active, 26 pending. Now this is interesting, uh, active and pending are pretty much the same in terms of numbers. So that means there is a real uh, balance right now in Scripps Ranch anyway. There are 26 pending, at an average market time of 36 days. So pretty similar average market time on the uh, active and pending, right around 30 days, just a little bit over. And 21 sold in the last 30 days in Scripps Ranch. So we have a real uh, balance here between active, pending, and sold. So it will be interesting to see what happens if we get a significant a significantly increased amount of inventory. Will the pendings keep up? Is the demand there? That is the question. So 21 sold in the last 30 days for it with an average market time of 23 days. So these solds uh, moved a little quicker than these pendings here, uh, but we'll keep an eye on that as well. So let's jump right into that InfoSparks graphic and take a look at Scripps Ranch compared to the rest of San Diego County. All right, that's coming up right now. Let's get it up here and get into it. All right, so we are gonna add 92131 right here. And we can see that uh, Scripps Ranch, uh, we're looking at uh, median sale price here. The median price in Scripps Ranch runs uh, quite a bit higher than uh, San Diego County on average. We are currently sitting at 1.316 million uh, median price in Scripps Ranch and 840,000 in San Diego County as a whole. 
This is combined attached and detached. If we separated these out, the numbers would be different, but we're just looking at the whole picture right now. Now, so this number, 1.316, is a little bit lower than it was in December of uh, 22. December of last year was at 1.462. And then we can see here where the entire county was peaking uh, last year, Scripps Ranch was in a bit of a trough. They had their um, uh, peak in February at 1.412, uh, then jumped up at, to 1.462, and here we sit at 1.316, so not too shabby. And you can see where we were all the way back here in 2020 at 914, so there has been uh, some ups and downs, but overall, significant growth in Scripps Ranch over the last three years. And that is what's happening right now in 92131. Again, if you like the content, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And we will be back later this week with more neighborhood real estate update and an update on the San Diego County housing market as a whole on Thursday. So watch for that and we will talk to you soon. Thank you.